Hey folks, today we have a video of a vintage laptop. As you can see, I was kindly sent this by Video San Frontier here on YouTube. It's a Compaq Armada E500, which he has talked up like crazy. I know, he, he loves these machines. So, since he's a nice guy, he decided to send me one uh, to play with, because he knows I've been looking for a sort of a, a good Windows 98 laptop that has good MIDI support and all that stuff on it. And he thought this one would fit the bill. So, personally, I think it, I think it fits the bill well enough for now until I can get like a Pentium One or Two based laptop. It has a replacement AC adapter with it, so not exactly, you know, up to high quality standards here, but it works. Uh, so, take a look at the laptop itself. So, around the front, man. So around the front you have a floppy drive. You have, I think, a speaker there. I'm not sure. Uh, you have a DVD drive, which is nice to see. You have some sound up and down buttons there, some volume adjustments. On the other side you have your PC card slots with the blanks, which is really nice. So that's pretty cool. You have a microphone and headphone jack there. Kensington lock. Ethernet and modem which is really nice. Infrared port for palms and stuff. You have a composite out actually which is pretty cool. This That way you can capture video off of it really really easily. Not that it would look good but you know it's a possible thing to do. Like especially if you have an older projector or something like that. That's what, this, that's what I would use that for. Here's the back of the machine. You have a single USB port there just to power. USB there, USB 1.1 more than likely. Actually, it is USB 1.1, who am I kidding? Uh, serial port, VGA, docking base connector, parallel, and PS2, keyboard and mouse. So I guess you could put a splitter on that and use both. And on this side, you really don't have much other than where the battery would go. Uh, he Batteries are a bit weird to send through customs, so unfortunately I don't have the battery, but I can just buy a replacement one, that's fine. Here's the bottom of the machine. You have some doors here. Uh, one of them is for the RAM. I think I think the hard drive's under one of them too, I can't quite remember. I haven't actually had this machine apart yet, because it works. Here's the data plate here. Assembled in Taiwan. So it's based, so it's a Taiwanese so it's a Taiwanese farmed out machine, as was typical in the nineties. No extra charge for the SNP sticker. <laughs> that's that's extremely that's extremely J right there. Alright. And in it I got a bunch of ridiculous pictures because with J you can take nothing seriously. Everything is funny. So, <laughs> the British Pride Starter Pack. <laughs> there used to be a Nazi symbol there, but he but sending that through customs would have been interesting. So, <laughs> Nigel Farage, <laughs> BNP, chips and vodka. <laughs> or crisps and vodka in this context. Is that a bunch of chavs? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's silly. Get directly to fuck! <laughs> yeah, that Scottish Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Jay for you. He's a funny guy. At least if you if you're into his sense of humor. So anyway, here's the laptop. It's in pretty good shape. The screen's a little dusty. I might I'll take my uh, take my high quality dusting sock and uh, yeah, dust that off a little bit. Here it is. It has a nice. I think it's a 12 inch screen. Uh, it's got a, a keyboard is in fantastic shape. Look at that. There's like no wear on it at all. Look at that. It's beautiful. And it feels pretty good too. 
The keyboard is the British layout, which I've typed on this, and it's really not a big deal to get used to if you're in the United States. It's hardly any different. The only thing you got to remember is that the pipe and uh, backslash are down here next to shift. So if you're going to actually use that shift key, don't hit that by accident. You hit that. And the enter key being all the way over here is, takes a little getting used to. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. So it has a British keyboard, so that means if I ever reinstall Windows on here, I just need to uh, remember that it's a British layout, not the US layout. <laughs> uh, but luckily, the machine works fine. The trackpad works. The buttons don't feel worn out. Well, that one sounds different than the other one, but whatever. The trackpad looks pretty good. Design for Windows 2000 and NT4, but it's running 98. Has a Pentium 3 in it. I forget what speed. But yeah, it's a pretty typical sort of 90s laptop, but it's a really nice one. The Compaq Armada series is fantastic. So without further ado, let's turn the machine on and take a look at it. I'll just boot up into Windows 98, screw it. I was going to show you the specs in the BIOS, but whatever. I can do that in Windows 98. Hopefully it lets me. I forget how fast of a Pentium 3 it has. It might be like a 733 or an 866 or something like that. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. The speakers are on the palm rest. And that's a really stupid spot for speakers, because look what happens when I start typing. I block the speaker with my palm. The whole, yeah, like, look at that. Look at that. I put my hand right over it, and it blocks the speaker. That's just, that's a stupid design from the 90s. I wish that the companies really never did. I do not understand why that was a thing. I guess it was just convenient at the time, but really, I like today's designs where the speakers are on the side or up top somewhere. I click that OK button there. Eh. Come on, Windows. That hard drive is doing stuff. Yeah, it's taking its time for whatever reason. There it goes. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Windows XP sounds in Windows 98 just to screw with my head. <laughs> uh man. That's hilarious. Yeah, he, he, we had a bunch of interesting desktop shortcuts here, too. My Mooper. <laughs> My Bash. He renamed Internet Explorer STD Rootkit <laughs> Injection. <laughs> the Hood, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> Outlook Express is, or whatever is, download crypto locker. Of course, the recycle bin is your opinion. I think Microsoft money is loan shark. <laughs> Microsoft worked meat. Winamp is muzzock. <laughs> Thanks to Sansui 350A and Video Sand Frontier, this laptop has now been desecrated. <laughs> Anyhow, let's see if I can get some specs on this thing from my mooper. You had one. Ah, yeah. oh, jeez. You had one job, Jazz Moop. That's how you pronounce that. Oh, it doesn't tell me. It's 256 megs of RAM in it. Uh, it's a Pentium 3 something or other. I wish it would tell me what um, what CPU it is. We'll have to I'll have to see if I can't get into the BIOS somehow. Um. So. What's this laptop like? Well, it's very nice. It's a Windows 98 laptop, as you can see. At least that's what it is for me. Uh, let's take a look at some of the hardware in here and see what it has. So it has a, it has a Fujitsu hard drive, which I'm a big fan of. Those things last forever. It has an ATI Rage Mobility AGP, which is perfect for a laptop like this. None of that S3 crap or... Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Neo Magic or any bullshit like that. This is a real computer. 
Intel stuff, uh, network adapters. It's got a dial-up adapter. It's got Intel. It's got 10100 Ethernet on it. Uh, for sound, it has ESS audio, which is pretty good actually for these laptops. It tends to do a good job. Uh, I haven't tried DOS gaming on this, but I I, I imagine it does pretty okay. <laughs> and the hard drive is named Ball Bag. <laughs> Uh, what have we got in here to show off the MIDI? Uh, yeah, let's get in here and get to the media folder and see what the MIDI sounds like on this laptop. Canyon, there it is. The speakers in this laptop are pretty fantastic. Just listen to that. Oh, yeah. yeah. The speakers in this laptop sound fantastic. That's one thing I was very impressed about with this when I first got it was just how good the speakers are. Uh... I would play some other MIDI files, but I don't want copyright problems, so I won't. Now, what else do we got on this computer? As you can hear, the MIDI's good. The ESS audio is very good. What we got 7-Zip is on here. Uh, compact battery utility. For a battery I don't have, Jazz Jackrabbit, Click and Play, Magic Disc. Uh, Revenge of Arcades on here, which is pretty cool. It's got some old arcade ports. Uh, Microsoft works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, Vizio stuff. Retrozilla, which I think is basically FileZilla for retro machines. Winamp, WinImage for floppies and stuff. Acrobat 5.0. And, of course, Microsoft Office 97, I believe, is on here. Let's, let me confirm that real quick. Yep, Office 97. My favorite version to stick on Windows 98. I use Office 97 on a lot of older machines, actually. Works great. It's a good laptop to do typing on, actually. Oh, Clippy, you, you, you little shit. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> um... I did install Half-Life on here just to test out the gaming functionality of this for old games, and Half-Life runs well. Runs very well. I'll show that to you now. Those speakers, man, wow. They used to know how to make laptop speakers. The old Valve logo. This is the old Half-Life, the non-Steam version. So, do I, have any, do I have any games saved? No, I don't. So, we'll do our usual test of walking around. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. I love these speakers, this man. Train is provided for the Look how smooth it is. Of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Yeah, it's fine. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current top side temperature is... So as you can see, playing older games like this works great on this laptop because it has that ATI card in it. So that's just a little preview. I also have a posing force on there. Um... I'd like to get some of my other games on here too, but I haven't just I just haven't had a chance to uh, mess with this laptop that much yet. Uh, let alone I got this months ago, and I'm only making a video about it now. So <laughs> it's uh yeah. I wonder if the date is the date right? Is the date and time right? It is about three thirteen. 
And that's not that far off. It's 306. What's the date say? Saturday, July 24th. Wow. It's it's actually keeping time. How about that? Um, yeah. Let's Now that you've seen some of what's on here, it's a pretty typical Windows 98 laptop. It has good speakers though, which I'm really happy about. Uh, let me see if I can show you the uh Let me see if I can get into the BIOS real quick and then I'll sh I'll show you that. <laughs> It's so wrong! Oh yeah, it has plus on it. I forgot to mention that. Okay, I got into the bottom, so I forgot that the key was F10, because, you know, my memory is awesome. Anyhow, we're in the BIOS. Pretty simple BIOS. There's not much to it. Um, you can save it to a floppy and restore it, I guess. But this is what I was looking for, system information. So this has a Pentium 3 700 in it. And uh, 256 megs of RAM. Looks like the BIOS dates from the year 2000, so that's when this computer's from, I reckon. And it's very nice. Uh, I'd like to thank Video San Frontier for uh, sending this machine over. This will definitely be a really nice Windows 98 computer to use. It's got a good keyboard. It's in fantastic shape. Uh, he he did a lot to the system for me to make it really nice so thank, thanks a lot dude I appreciate it a lot beep beep <laughs> me uh yeah shut that off so anyhow that is the compact armada e500 it's a nice tough machine it feels really high quality and it it's really nice I, re I really like this computer and I'll definitely be keeping this one around in the collection uh, along with the NEC Versa that I have so there you have it. That's the Compaq Armada E500. Just a little short overview. Uh, check out Video San Frontier's channel if you want to see more videos about the E500. It's a fantastic computer. It has a good video card in it that's not weird. It has ESS audio in it, so the MIDI is good. So generally, it's a good model of computer to use for uh, Windows 98 gaming and stuff like that. So and it's from the year 2000, so you know it's new enough to have that stuff. And the best part about it is it's a tri-spindle machine. You get your optical drive. You get your floppy drive and you get a hard drive, so you get everything in one package. It's 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 a really good all-arounder for a vintage laptop. Uh, it, I, if you're gonna do Windows 98 era stuff, get one of these. It's nice. Anyhow, that's it for this video. This is just a little look at the Compact Armada E500, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one, everybody.